The Finnish population originated thousands of years ago from a very small founder population and it has expanded in the last 200 years from a couple of hundred thousand to 5.5 million. Finland has a unique population history that has been relatively genetically isolated, presumably because of a great linguistic isolation, and this creates all sorts of opportunities that really exist in very few places in the world. In 2006, leading institutes and researchers in Finland established the Institute for Molecular Medicine, FIM, to provide a platform for conducting molecular medicine research at the highest level. Research here takes place on humans, human samples, human data, with a direct goal of making discoveries, making tools, making medicines that will impact humans both in Finland and around the world. People at FIM come from all over the world, from Europe, from Asia, from, from the States. That makes us a very rich environment and exciting environment. She monitors, separates Otis and Ethiopia from everybody else. Okay. I became director of FIM in early 2018. This was after at least four years in which my family and I had spent parts of our summers here. Our comfort with the city and our comfort with how great an institution this was made it a wonderful and attractive opportunity. I'm a group leader at FIM and I'm interested in integrating genetics and large-scale nationwide registries for uh, predicting common diseases. The combination of genetics and large-scale population information, this is what brought me to Finland. I will be joining FIM next year as a High Life Tenure Track Assistant Professor. I'm interested in the cellular basis of neurodevelopmental disorders. Right now there are big projects happening at FIM which are really paving the way for advances in the interface between basic genetic research and the healthcare system. I work here at FEM as an Academy Research Fellow running my own research group. The focus of my research is sex differences in health and disease. Friendly people, great data sets, different technologies. To me, FEM offers all of these. In our research at FIM, we have a keen focus on identifying novel targets for therapeutics that come from the Finnish genome, and also developing much better predictors of who is at risk. We wanted to test out what it means to give back information, both clinical risk as well as the genetic risk on cardiovascular disease, to see what impact on their lifestyle choices, on their medical history does it have. And that's when we started Gene Risk Study. He can check out how his risk would be different if he didn't smoke. We had developed a web-based tool in-house, we called it CardioCompassy. And, and what CardioCompassy does, it combines the information on traditional risk factors with the genomic risk score and interprets it in an easy way. I'm a medical director and a GP at the Mehilainen, which is the biggest private healthcare company in Finland. With this application, we can provide coaching programs which are related with a healthy food and exercise. What we found was that it seemed to be the genetic component of the risk that motivated or pushed them over the cliff into doing something for the, to lower their risk. The entire population of Finland is bought into the idea that we can make medical advances by the responsible use of individuals' genome data and individuals' health history data. And this creates an ecosystem for genetics research that's really unparalleled. We're now taking the next steps in genomics in Finland with the launching of the FinGen project two years ago, which is integrating the genome information from 500,000 Finns with their birth to death, health and medical histories, and will be a fantastic resource for discovery and for ultimately testing new methods for prediction in the population. The FinGen project is a public-private partnership with nine international pharma companies, with the Finnish Innovation Fund, uh, Business Finland, and all Finnish biobanks, all Finnish university hospital. Finland has its power only when it's united in one force. We are already, even at this early point in the project, mining novel 
causes of disease, novel variants that protect against disease. Ultimately, it would be fantastic if everyone um, in Finland was a participant in FinGen. At that point, we would be able to deliver information to the entire population and really have the impact on healthcare that we'd like. The future of genomics is not just based in Finland, and one of the things that we're very committed to at FIM is really starting to enucleate collaborative activities across Europe and across the world. We are going to be among the first country where the entire population will be genotyped. This is a unique testbed to implement in genetics in health and other aspects of life as well. The future of genomics in Finland and FM is definitely bright. We're collecting this wonderful FinGen data set that is going to be a massive resource that will hopefully transform the way we do genomic medicine.